All right, this not only feels weird, it's probably going to sound weird. I'm standing in front of my lathe, and it's been like two months and a week since I've been out here. I saw the doctor maybe nine days ago, something like that. They did x-rays. It's healed up, and they said that start putting pressure on it using the boot, maybe using a walker, a cane, or whatever. Didn't hurt at all wearing that boot. And I asked the doctor, is it okay in the process of doing this if I stand in front of my lathe? And I said, sure, that'd be fine. That's why I'm here. I wouldn't say it was doctor's orders, but it was doctor's permission. I'm going to turn a small piece of cherry I have. And I'm just going to make a simple turning. So why am I doing it today? Well, today is my birthday. And you can do the math, but I'll just tell you, I just turned 77. Oh my goodness. I've already put a flat spot in the hole in here. I'm going to get it mounted up. And for the first time in over two months, I'm turning the lathe on, grabbing my 5 8 bowl gouge, and see what we can do. I'll be right back. Alright, just sharpened the 5 8 bowl gouge. Got the half inch bowl gouge standing by. I'm turning 800 RPM. Yeah, really pretty piece of wood. Okay, let's flatten that bottom off. I should leave that or not. Let's uh, switch to the half inch bowl gouge and clean this up and see what remains. So we can turn the RPM up. About 890. I think that's just going to fall off if I leave it. I'm going to go ahead and turn that away. Okay, I think it looks good. 
I might just uh, go ahead and make a tenon out of this. I was thinking of a recess, but I either cut this off or make a tenon off of it. Okay, you can see I, I marked it for a tenon. And I moved the camera a little bit, but I don't want to try to put it in too many places. That means I have to move around a lot. A little bit on the high side. Right, we're going to go ahead and square this up. Probably sand this and put some sealer on it. Alright, this is actually very smooth, but I'm going to start with 220 and I'll sand up through 400 of the lathe and reverse at 400 RPM. Okay, I'm ready to put some sanding sealer on it. And this is shellac based. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to finish the outside slightly different than the inside. I'm going to get this on. Probably get uh, two coats of this, a couple coats of shellac. And then I'll be back tomorrow. Even though I got more in me today, but I'm not going to use it up. I want to keep that as a reserve. So, uh, I should be able to do the inside tomorrow. That's kind of what it's going to look like, except even prettier. <clears throat> well, I hope you like this so far, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, I'm back out here. It's the next day. It's about noon now. And we've got it flipped around. We're going to go ahead and get the inside hollowed. We'll start with a 5 8 bowl gouge, and I'm not sure how fast we're spinning. It's about a thousand RPM. Switch to a half inch bowl gouge here. Also, gonna put a little light on there. You can see that corner. I noticed a little crack here on top and it goes down a little bit. I put some CA in it. I'm going to let that sit while I cut more out of the center section here.
to get a good idea how much I have on the bottom. And I've got uh, about three quarters of an inch. So we'll go ahead and take some more out of there. And that wall is definitely thick. check that wall. That's about a quarter there. Pretty much consistent all the way to here. So we're not going to take too much more off the wall. But I'll probably take maybe another three-eighths off of the bottom. I think I can hear how thick it is. Yeah, pretty much a quarter down to here. And we'll see what we have for there. That's about three eighths, so I'm going to clean that up and call it good. My goodness, I think I found a wormhole. Whoops, sorry, just hit you. That might be a wormhole in there. Well, let's see what happens. It's possible to get rid of that. Oh, gosh. There's a live worm in there. That is a surprise. Let's see what I have here to dig him out. I didn't want to do that. Yep. Gooey gooey. Was a worm. So we're going to have to fill that with something. I don't have enough stock to turn it away. That's about a quarter. Let's see where that worm is at. Well, yeah, I don't think I can turn it all away. I'll think about that for a minute. I'll be right back. Alright, that's not too bad. I think I could sand this and I might just sand that away. I don't want to accidentally take too much off and then I'll have a hole in here. I'm going to go ahead and start with 80 grit. I've got maybe just a little area that didn't clean up with the gouge. So I think I could sand that out easy enough. I'll sand it up through 400 with the lathe running forward at about 400 RPM. And I'll get this sanded up, come back, and we'll get it finished in here. Okay, I'm going to get a pretty heavy coat of sanding sealer on there. And I'm going to let it sit, probably come back later this afternoon, and put something in that wormhole. Now, it could be brown CA or maybe coffee grounds. Either way, I want to get a coat of sealer on there so it doesn't soak into the rest of the wood. And there is that wormhole right there. Not much of it left, but it's there. Well, that's uh, kind of a pretty piece of cherry. And I'll go ahead and do all this and I'll come back and I'll show you what we ended up with. And I'm getting nervous about taking that tenon off because this got pretty thin. 
you may have to have a backup plan in case there's nothing there. So, uh, see you later. Right, last night I got all the finish on. I buffed it out with Axe Abrasive Paste and Polish. And I did all that sitting on a tall stool, so that was pretty nice. I need to remove this tenon. Underneath there, I know there's just an eighth of an inch, so I'm going to be real careful. I'll probably stop and check it now and then. We're doing about 620 RPM. I did stop once right here. It was looking like it was getting close. I measured it and most of it was down to an eighth. So I took it off, cut the high ridge off, and then I took it off and sanded it. Well, here it is. I'm pretty happy with it. First bowl I turned in two and a half months. I think it turned out pretty nice. There's the outside. And you'll notice that the finish on the outside is totally different than the inside. Now there's the bottom and well, I'm down there. I'll show you. I named it the ankle bowl. It finished six and a quarter inches in diameter. It's two and a quarter inches tall. The walls are a quarter inch. But that bottom is one eighth of an inch. And that's because I wanted to clean up that warm hole. You can see I patched it down in there. That worked pretty good, but you can also see that the worm hole went all the way through. So I did use the uh, brown Starbond CA, and that's all I used for a patch. So I used two coats of the Zinzer Seal Coat on the inside, and I used X abrasive paste and the polish. On, the, on top of that. And then the outside I used two coats of Zenzer Seal Coat and then I used two coats of Zenzer Shellac and then I did a light spray of Deft Lacquer on it just because I like the looks of that. And I did polish that out as well with the X Abrasive Paste. So why did I not do that to the inside? Well the, the Shellac has a wax in it. It's a curing wax. I don't really know anything about it whether that would be considered food safe. So I use the X abrasive paste, which is food safe on the inside because this is gonna make a nice little popcorn bowl or maybe peanuts. So that was the reasoning behind that. So as far as getting something out next week, I'm really thinking I'm not going to. I mean, right now I could, but I start uh, physical therapy on Monday. And it kind of hinted at not doing one a week, but maybe doing three a week. Well, if I have to go over there on three different days and recover from them, you know, rebending my foot until I can do it on my own, I'm not going to feel like it. But I will have something next week, and I can warn you that not everybody's going to like these, but I do hope you decide that you want to watch them. And I do appreciate you watching this, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment and let me know what you think. I want to thank all of my current subscribers for sticking with me. I'm very happy I was able to get this out. I'm not sure about next week, like I said. If you are new to my channel, I do a lot more than just these simple little bowls. I have lots of videos of just about anything you'd want to see from segments to offset turnings to multi-axis turnings. So please take a look at all my old videos. If you like what you see there, please consider subscribing. Thanks again, and until the next time, I'll see you later.